Now for those people who've been hanging out wondering, who are we going to talk to in this joke and when are we going to talk to them? Pick a stroke, any stroke. Mm, Albert Hammond Jr., what's going on? Hey, man, I feel like I've been on hold since the last time we spoke. <laughs> Just waiting here. <laughs> That's very kind of you to wait for us. It's been a few weeks now. Uh, I hope someone's fed you. So much has happened, actually. I'm glad you hope someone's fed me. Hold on. My mom's trying to call me. Mom, stop it. Ignore. Hello? Sorry. <laughs> oh, no. Do, do you need some time to talk to your mom? I've never gotten in the way between his son and his mother. <laughs> no, that's okay. All right. We appreciate okay. your time. So much has happened since we last spoke. The album is now out. And, uh, yeah. and you know, people are loving it. And uh, that must be really nice for you guys to know that that, that music is being appreciated at last. Finally, it's out there. It no longer exists in my private collection at home. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And thank God it didn't leak and it wasn't your copy, because that would have been something to have to tell the crew, wouldn't it? Oh, man. I actually thought I lost my iPod in January with oh. all the, all the like, kind of rough masters, and I was trying to find a way to tell everyone, like, look, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> and then I found it, and thank God I didn't have to have that conversation, because that is not a good conversation to have. Let me ask you, though, Albert, would, did, you, did you mark up in your own iPod, the songs as the Strokes. You know what? I did everything. I did. This, I called it the Strokes Fourth Album. <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> it was even. It was even on a playlist <laughs> called the Strokes Fourth Album Masters. If you found this iPod, go to the Fourth Album down in the left-hand <laughs> playlist and enjoy, Albert. Now, listen, we've also got the good news about Reading and Leeds, um, which, you know, yeah. you, you were kind enough to leak to us three weeks ago, and then we had to sit, <laughs> and then we had to sit on that. Like, we went out to everybody and was like, hey, can we put that out? They're like, listen, Albert's stupid and doesn't know what he's talking about. You better not put that out on radio. Oh, man, they, they, they had such nice words for me. I, I appreciate that. I was just, uh, I, I would like to say it wasn't so much stupid as it's just, you know, I don't, uh, no one, no one tells you the rules, you know, I just hear stuff and then when people ask, they just say it. <laughs> I respected and appreciated that scoop. What I shouldn't have done has told anybody that we had it and just put it out. That's what I should have done. <laughs> That's what you should have done. You know? <laughs> right, good, I'm glad. Uh, so Reading and Leeds, now it's official, way after the fact, we've got you back on the phone to clarify. Uh, you must be, I mean, it's it's a super exciting idea that you guys are going to be out here headlining that festival. And I remember when you guys headlined it off the back of your first record, which in this day and age seems absolutely suicidal. It seems crazy to do that. <laughs> uh, what, 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 what were your memories of playing that show? Remember, emotions like that are, are, are basically impossible. You just, you don't really understand how you're going to go and do it. And then as you're going up, just everything, the floodgates open, and you just have oh, so many feelings. You just play a show, and then by all of a sudden it's over, and you're like, what happened? It, mm. it felt like it was going to take forever, mm. and then before you knew it, it it's over. And it's just, uh, and then you're high as a kite for like four days. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the adrenaline stop, doesn't let know? go. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's good to catch up, man. And we've got, you know, a new Strokes album. We're really happy to have it. It's our album of the week. And uh, it's been really nice sort of, you know, catch up with you again. And, and I think what's left now is yeah. that when you guys get out here to the UK for whatever reason, which will be happening pre-festivals, do you know? Are they, are they, in classic Albert Hammond Jr. tradition, what we're looking for yeah. right now is for you to just casually tell us about some UK tour that we're not supposed to know about. People keep on asking about tour dates, and it's just we're, we're going to have them, and we're going to tour. Yeah. We're going band, and we love playing around the world and very grateful and lucky to be able to. It's just, we're doing it slowly. We're trying to find a way to work on new material with yeah. this album and also tour. So we're just trying to find a balance for now and then sort of build up so it doesn't go, it's very easy for it to go out of control in the beginning and then yeah. it's hard to pull back once it's out of control. Well, you've done that before so, you learned that lesson. So I suppose in a way, if you can't learn something from the last time, what's the point in carrying on? You know? It's called insanity right there. Exactly. Same thing, expecting a different result. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Just quickly, how are things going? I mean, there's been a bit of talk now. You guys have been quite open about the idea of putting something out sooner rather than later. How's that working out for you at this point? Uh, it's good. I mean, I don't know... In time, when we're not touring, we are working on new material as well. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, obviously the, the beginning was just getting ready to play shows again and this whole mm. interviews. But now it was just meant to be like we, we want to make another record. We're ready to do it. He's, an, he's a scholar, a gentleman, some would say an adventurer. I would also certainly describe him as the loosest lips in the industry, and we appreciate him. A maniac. Him. A complete psychotic <laughs> maniac. Uh, he's Albert Hammond Jr. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, man.